following is an example of an initial value problem. We're asked here to uh, integrate x root x dx, and we're told that y of 0 equals 2. That'll allow us to find the constant after we integrate. So in this case, y is going to be equal to the root of x to the 3 over 2 dx. Since we have a product here, we have no rule to integrate a product, but we should recognize that x is to the power of 1. Root x means x to the half, so 1 plus a half as we add the exponents gives us 3 over 2. Now we can integrate, and that will give us y equals x to the 5 over 2, over 5 over 2, or multiplied by 2 over 5, plus a constant. So there's our indefinite integral. Now we use our initial information to solve for c. In this case, when x is 0, y is 2. So 2 is equal to 2 times 0 to the 5 over 2 over 5 plus c, in which case c equals 2. Rewriting then for y, we see that y is 2x to the 5 over 2 over 5 plus 2. In the next example, we're asked to integrate this function, and we're told that y of 1 is 5. So we begin by noticing that here 1 minus x cubed has a derivative of minus 3x squared. So a q substitution will work since we have x squared here. So to integrate, we say u equal to 1 minus x cubed, in which case du is equal to minus 3x squared dx. We have x squared dx, so we can rewrite this as du over minus 3 is equal to x squared dx. Replacing 1 minus x cubed then with u, so that's u to the 5, and x squared dx with du over minus 3 x squared dx, so that's du over minus 3, we can now integrate. So we remove the constant, which is 1 over minus 3, or minus 1 over 3. u to the 5 becomes u to the 6 over 6, and plus c. Now we need to be careful not to substitute in here. This is for u. This is y of x. So we need to replace u with our x values. So this is negative 1 minus x cubed to the power of 6 over 18 plus c. Now we can substitute for x and y. So 5 is equal to minus 1 minus 1 cubed x is 5, y is, I'm sorry, x is 1, y is 5, to the 6 over 18 plus c. 1 minus 1 ends up to be 0, so this whole term is 0, in which case c equals 5. Writing our equation as a y as a function of x then gives us negative 1 minus x cubed to the power of 6 over 18 plus 5.